particular little curry uses the whole head of the cauliflower, but it also uses the stalks and the leaves. So they have a nice sort of crunchy texture. Radio New Zealand Pacific is now closing on this frequency. To continue hearing us, please return to 11.725 kilohertz in the 25 metre band. Once again, retune now to 11.725 kilohertz in the 25 metre band. RNZ News at 6. Good evening, Kia ora tātou. I'm Evie Ashton. Te Pāpe Māori co-leader, Rāwuri Waititi, is urging Kauranga residents to hold local racists to account. The party says it's too dangerous to stand a candidate in the upcoming by-election because of anti-Māori sentiment. Mr Waititi told Checkpoint there's firm evidence the city has become a racist hotspot. The shouting down of one of our Māori wahine at a public council hui for doing a mihi Māori and welcoming everybody, it happened in Tauranga. The racist uh, leaflets that were dropped happened in Tauranga. So we have the evidence to show there is a growing number of racists in Tauranga Māori. Rāwari Waititi holds the Waiariki electorate, which encompasses Tauranga. The doctors' union is rallying behind calls to include nurses on the immigration list for fast-tracked residency. The head of the Resident Doctors Association, Deborah Powell, says that during the height of the pandemic, members at many hospitals had to work extra hours because of nurse shortages. Without our nurses, well, we just can't run hospitals, can we? And you know, those that work most closely with them, which probably is the resident doctors, um, know that as well as anyone else. Um, we're a team and. You know, for a functioning system, we have to have enough of everyone. Nurses are a critical part of that. Deborah Powell says there's not a single part of the health system that doesn't that isn't 